Welcome to the PartyPoker.com World Open 4. This is poker at its best. There is over $500,000 in the prize pool. The winner gets a massive quarter million dollar check. The race is on. I always call No Limit Texas Hold'em the beautiful game. Winning is everything. If you're looking to get better, you've got to come and play with the best. Many days you're going to go home with less money than you started the day with. You make one mistake and you're walking through the exit door. A spot at the semifinals is up for grabs. And for our runners up, there is a second chance to get back in it in the turbo round. So far, this tournament has been fast and furious. Champions have fallen, and the mighty underdogs have hit some fine form. Unreal, man. Wow, wow, wow. What chance? Table, banter, and needles are guaranteed. When you get caught bluffing, you lose a pot. <laughs> you gonna show or not? Fucking justice, come on, where are you? Tonight, another heat kicks off with a supreme lineup. Cobra is a hardcore poker player from Wolverhampton, playing for 25 years and taking part in WPTs, EPTs, and WSOPs. This man is a cut above the rest. This is a very important tournament for me to win. I've played it a few times and never really done any good, but today I feel very confident. Welshman John Tabatabai is a big talker at the table. But is he all talk and no trousers? Or can this WSOPE runner-up prove he's more than just a backward glance? I'm really excited about today, and I just want to go in there and hopefully teach these guys a lesson. It's the gentleman of poker, the epic Irishman, Liam Flood, runner-up in this event at European Open champion two years ago. Can he launch another run for the title? I like to win the first hand that I play in. No matter what hand it is that I participate in first, I need to win it. Cat Girl from Latvia is out to impress. She's bringing her charms, her skills, and an unusual twist to the table. But will she be able to hold her own when the cards go down? It would be fantastic to win today. I don't want a second place. I'm going straight for the win. Ian Woodley is back at the World Open table. Last year he was a runner-up, so this time round he'll be out for the top spot. The money is important, but I don't, it never phases me. Like, I don't ever think about the money. I just I play because I want to win. Devilfish with poker bracelets galore and a huge reputation. He'll feel confident he can wipe out the opposition and is looking to go all the way. There's quite a lot of luck in these things, but if I win it, it's all skill. What's it all worth? The yellow Still chips worth a thousand, the blues are two, the reds five K a piece. Black there, chips not you. in play. Hundred thousand <laughs> per player and six hundred K on the table, really? of course. Okay. And I appreciate that. Neil, I mean you gotta love this lineup. Oh, uh, I don't know the last time Surrender, no, anyway. Liam really Flood is. and Devilfish all met at the same table. It's but brilliant. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna play Devilfish in the big blind and usually the fish lets people know when it's his yes. big blind. I feel like he invented yes. that sort of move. Him and Lucy Rokash, perhaps. Yeah, I think they both invented quite a lot of moves. Pass. 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 And I've never yeah. seen Catgirl play before. Cool. Limp. But she's definitely a presence at the table. She's, she's thrown okay, herself in the deep end here, for sure. Yes. Yeah, she certainly picked a hard heat, and uh, probably should have raised. Oh, we're good. It's interesting. I wonder whether Lucy Rokash would approve of uh, Cat Girl's appearance on tonight's program. Check. It's Check. a nice flop for the fish, and Woodley's got the second not flush draw, uh, a royal flush draw. I'm getting excited. He's not going to put this down, is he? No, this is definitely going to be a, a big-ish pot. Um, Woodley's got a pair, and as you say, the gut shot straight flush draw. He's definitely calling here. Cool. That's the next line. Away. Well, where does Woodley put the fish? I mean, fish could have anything, f including nothing right now, couldn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think Woodley was definitely thinking he's in check call mode. Uh, the board Both pairing can slow him down a little bit. He must have a black ace there, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's looking to check this call again. Wide. He's got a lot less outs than he thinks he has, Woodley, but uh, that's not one of them. And how should the devilfish weight this? 
I guess he's going to bet about 14,000 try and get paid off. Can Black live in? No, I can't stop. 9,000. He's, uh, he's opted for a number that's nearly guaranteed to get called by anything reasonable. <laughs> or is it so cheap? Well, it's so cheap, but uh, it you know it's still 10% of a starting stack. Or oh, okay. um, okay. 9% as it happens. But uh, <coughs> I think Ian intended to only pay on the river if he... You know, if he maybe made two pair, uh, you know, on the turn Jackson tens, or maybe made a straight, or you know, he 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 wasn't really intending to call just with the Jackson queens with an ace kicker. I think I, I think know, it's actually gone beyond it? the price or the money. There's there, pride's been brought into it. Cool. A little flush. Are you winning? You got a turn of a first one. I called you, son. Bottom zero. <laughs> Dave. I said I got a flush. Well, you sure. win if you got a flush. Yeah, but I want to see it and see if I called it right. I'll ask him then. I don't mind. Can you turn him up, please, baby? Yeah, never Thank you. Ten jack. Wow. Devilfish taking that you pot and the needle down. at the end, Neil. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting a I little dig in there. Bloody hell, matey. <laughs> Raised to 7,000 total. And that, that feels loose. Well, yeah, you know, Devilfish made a good start. He's got some chips and uh, he Mark wants to keep testing out the table. surrender has got the ace queen. <laughs> Probably the trickiest hand to play on the first level of this uh, format. Cool. And I don't mind calling there. I mean, uh, Devilfish has raised under the gun. He knows Devilfish's range is quite wide. No, no. John no, Tabatabai no, no, no. may choose to try and make a squeeze play here. Um, he knows that Devilfish is liable to be raise, yeah. raising with a wide range of hands, and Surinder has shown weakness by just flat calling. If he brings it up to about 15,000 now, he'll probably feel like... Oh, sorry, yeah. not 15,000, maybe uh, 22,000. Well. <laughs> uh, he'll probably feel like you know he could pick up this money. There's 17,000 lying out there. Cool. He's chosen to just call, though. And the cool people. <laughs> It's amazing, Dave. For somebody who says they're cool, you don't. Mm. You think Duchamp's? Huh? I'm only joking. Buddy. What okay. do you What do you think his decision was based on? It? Uh, well, yeah. he's still got people to act behind <laughs> him who may yeah. have a hand. And now, of course, Liam has now got a, what he considers to be a perfect squeeze opportunity uh, because there's even more money in there. And John Tabata Tabai has shown quite a bit of weakness uh, by just flat calling. And this is Liam's game, as we said before, he likes to re-raise. He doesn't tend to do it on the first level when the blinds are small because there's not much to steal. But in this pot. No, uh, with Devil just raising and two yeah. people calling, there's a lot of um, what he would consider to be complete dead money lying around there. You had the aces. <laughs> <laughs> had the ace king. No, you had the aces. Ace king, you had ace six. No, bet no. made poker fan. Yeah. Do you want to bet money on it? No, I won't bet if I was you. Okay. Devilfish is obviously going to totally pass. He's going to no. take a bit of time yeah, about it because he wants to convince people he only raises under the gun with top hands. Although Surinder's in a good spot oh, he here, he hasn't really yeah. invested very yeah. much money, yeah. uh, just 7,000. And, uh, and you know, Liam it's possible that Liam's got a massive <laughs> hand. Uh, if he yeah, does but he'll know that Liam's capable of doing it with this kind of hand, too. Of course he does, of course he does. But if he does re-raise, he to make an effective re-raise, he's going to have to raise it up to about fifty or sixty thousand more. Uh, and if he does that, he might as well go all in. He's one of those guys, you know, when you reach a certain age, and if you're backing out of the driveway, you don't you don't look behind you. You just kind of put it in reverse. Here I come. <laughs> you know? I know exactly what you mean. He's, he's great to watch he at is. the moment, Liam. He's uh, he's playing fearless, ferocious poker, and uh, yeah. But, I mean, he's magnificent in this particular format because he... Pass. Well, these kind of situations, uh, you know, that's happened in this hand is just a perfect yeah, hand for him. Oh my now, John Tabba Tobai knows exactly how Liam can play, yeah. and he Second values class. his tournament life perhaps slightly really less than some really people, right which is a good thing. Uh, he's, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, he's not afraid to be knocked out. He doesn't care if he goes knocked out first if he thinks it's a good situation. 